हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल फ्रॉम एच एल टी एफ टेक चैनल एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट अ वीडियो इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट कन्फिगर एंड देन एड अ न्यू फ्रंट एंड सर्वर इन आवर शेयर पॉइंट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन फॉर सो वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू uh in this video i uh, have i already assumed that uh, i have assigned static ip to uh, our new server uh, we have created a new server uh, in which we have assigned the static ip then we have uh, joined it to our domain in my case uh, the domain name is hltf.tech okay uh, then uh, i also assume that you have created uh, sharepoint users in your active directory and have assigned them uh, the membership of your local administrator group in this new machine uh, let me show you here what i have done uh, when i got into the edit local user groups in groups administrators uh, these these three users are uh, that uh, users of my active directory i have assigned them the membership of local administrators here okay Uh, so then uh, next thing is that you have log in using your domain account in my case i have okay the next thing is that uh, you are going to log in uh, using your domain account uh, in my case that is sp19 admin uh, after that uh, you have installed the windows features after that uh, you have installed the sharepoint prerequisites and uh, you have installed the sharepoint setup files okay now your server is ready for configuration uh, as a new front end server uh, uh, let me tell you uh, if you haven't uh, uh, gone through these steps which i have already mentioned here i uh, recommend you to go to my channel and watch the part 1 part 2 and part 3 of installation of sharepoint 2019 i have covered all these steps in detail uh, in, in the videos there so uh, you can get a better guideline if you uh, haven't uh, gone through these steps okay so let's start the configuration of sharepoint server as a front end server okay now what i am going to do i am going to add uh, this sharepoint 19 product configuration visit let me tell you that i have already installed the sharepoint 2019 setup files here you can see that i have a, a separate drive in which i have installed the sharepoint 2019 okay now uh, this is the uh, production configuration visit i'm going to click next here i'm going to connect uh, my Uh, this server to an existing server farm i already have a server farm uh, let me show you here this is my server farm uh, in which the, uh, this is the 10 20 30 12 is my app sp19 server and if i go into the manage servers here you can see that right now i have only two servers in which the one is uh, app sp19 in which the role i have installed is application with search Uh, i have also configured a db server which is acting as a sharepoint database server uh, this configuration videos are already in my channel if you want to see how i have created them i request you to go to my channel and watch these videos okay so uh, i'm going to create a connect to an existing server farm i'm going to click next the name of my server uh, in my domain is db okay when i click the retrieve database name uh, the all the files are in sharepoint config let me show you this is my database server and in this database server this is the sharepoint_config database let me tell you here that all the necessary settings of uh, the sharepoint sharepoint save them in this database okay all the settings of Uh, share pointers uh, saved in this database uh, moreover uh, you can uh, say that this database is actually the operating system of sharepoint sharepoint doesn't save anything itself it save all the data in its database in this database okay 
so it's going to add one more database into uh, this so the name is all uh, auto uh, retrieved i am going to click next after clicking next it's going to validate some settings uh, from the sharepoint underscore config db uh, then it will ask me i think passphrase okay this one is very important whenever you are creating a new uh, server form it uh, allows you to configure a new passphrase i have a, uh, this is a uh, somewhat a password that is required to allow your new servers to add your in, into your uh, existing SharePoint server farm. So I'm going to add the passphrase here. If you don't know the passphrase, uh, I'm sorry, you can't join to your server farm. So it is very mandatory that whenever you create a new server farm, you remember this passphrase so that you can add your uh, new servers later on. Okay, the role I'm going to install is uh, front end with distributed cache. I am going to deal with a, a small environment in which I want to add one front end. You can create multiple servers of front end server uh, for uh, as an average about uh, 7 to 10,000 users can be entertained by two front end servers depending upon your environment and load condition and network availability. <coughs> Okay, uh, I have already configured the application with search. You can also configure multiple application servers here. Uh, right now, I'm going to configure uh, a front end with an additional role of distributed caching. If you are working on a large environment and you want to deal with thousands of your users, then I recommend you to install separate roles. Uh, this is the dedicated roles uh, in uh, your environment. Okay. So I'm going to click next. Uh, it's telling me that the local server I'm going to give is uh, this. This uh, okay? I'm I'm not using this machine to host to the website. The website is already hosted. The website is talking about is central administration. And uh, now I'm going to click uh, next. And uh, it has start performing configuration task. It will write uh, necessary setting files on the configuration database that I have already shown you here. It's writing some configuration files here. After which, uh, performing the nine tasks, the front end server will be ready. I will show you. Uh, so be with me. Uh, I will be uh, forwarding this video to uh, reduce your time. Okay, friends, wonderful. Just after having a one uh, cup of coffee, your configuration is successful. And uh, here it's showing you. So I'm going to finish it. And it's asking me for uh, admin ID password. In my case, it's SP19 admin. It's already connected to uh, HLDF domain. Okay, uh, now let me show you here when I go to manage servers in the farm, it's showing you three servers. Previously, it was showing only two servers. This server was not added. Right now, it's showing that uh, there is a server with front end with distributed cache role. It's compliant. Let me also verify it in uh, my app server. You can see here it was only two. After refreshing it, it's three. So this was uh, about uh, creating the front end server and adding it into your uh, server farm. Uh, you can add multiple app servers. You can uh, add multiple web front end servers, but your database server will remain same. Uh, you can also add uh, multiple database servers, but uh, the configuration of replication or synchronization uh, you have to achieve through uh, at Microsoft SQL level. Uh, SharePoint doesn't support this uh, or it, uh, you can do advanced configuration later on. I will tell you about uh, these scenarios as well. So this was all about this video. Uh, guys, please, please subscribe my channel. 
so that you may continue watching uh, my latest videos from time to time i thank you all